Hi, welcome to the Link Products tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to use the store section to browse through your store's products and link them to Customly. Let's get started. Let's open the store section from the left menu. There are two main things you can do under store, link products and create option sets. We'll cover option sets in the following video, so let's start with how to link products. Under Link Products, you'll be able to browse through your Shopify listings and connect them with templates from Customly. When a listing is linked to Customly, it will show the interactive preview and personalization options on the storefront. When you publish a product automatically by choosing a product base and a design, the listing that is created will already be connected to a template. Now, if you choose to create a template manually instead of publishing a product automatically, this is the place where you'll go to connect the template with a listing from your store. To link a product, simply browse through the list and select it. You can also search for a specific product here and use filters so you can see products that are already linked to Customly or not. Let's link a product together to see what's in there. Once inside, you'll see the product info. If you want to see how your product looks on the store, the eye icon right here will open it for you. The first thing you'll be able to do is choose a template to work with the product. Remember, for this to make sense, you need to have created a template manually beforehand. If you don't have a template yet, then click on Start Designing and it will take you to the Design Studio to work on your template. If you need help with this, there are other videos where we show you how to create a template and how to work with custom design studios, so make sure you check them out. Once you have a template for your product, you need to link an option set. Option sets are the group of options customers will see on the storefront to personalize a product. These are text inputs, swatches, and so on. Make sure you check out the option sets video to better understand how they work. When linking to a template, we recommend automatically creating the option set from the template. This is the easiest way to work and it will ensure all the options necessary to personalize your design will be created. If you are a more advanced user, you can always create an option set manually and then use it to link it to the product right here. Products can have multiple option sets. So again, make sure you check our option set tutorial video to understand all the possibilities that option sets give you. Below, you'll find a couple more advanced settings. The first one is variants. Here, you'll be able to see your product variants and add personalization behavior to them if you want. If you publish the product using a print-on-demand provider, under fulfillment, you'll be able to see details on which provider will be fulfilling your orders and what product and print area it will be using. Once you're done, save the product to make sure changes are applied to the listing. And remember, if you want to see how the product turned out, just go back here and click the eye icon to open the product in a new tab. Now you know how to link existing products from your store with templates and option sets. Don't miss our other tutorials where you can learn more about templates, option sets, settings, and more. And remember, if you ever need help, you can find our amazing support team just to click away using the help button in the right corner. Happy customizing!